Hi there. So um, today I want to show you behind the scenes of uh, a new app which I just created for on, on the iTunes App Store. Um, so it's called Driver Vine and it's a theory test app for people that are learning how to drive in the UK. All right. So this is the app page on the, on, um, on the iTunes App Store. And then here we have some screenshots. Right. So basically what it is, right, is a... Uh, a series of um, questions which you can use to test yourself against the the driving theory test and the cool thing about this uh, which I actually want to show you how this works is um, I used the quiz maker template which um, I uh, which we have an app design vault and um, I'm actually going to explain to you the process um, which I use from beginning to end on how I got this app up and running on the app store all right okay so first of all I was looking around in the education category on the in the UK app store and I saw a couple of apps which do this a similar thing because my wife actually wanted to take a driving test right so and I thought I mean I actually make an, an app um, very similar to that so I thought what would I need to do to be able to get the question set up then I went to the DSA website the DSA is the driving standards agency in the UK and they actually license the theory th um, theory test learning materials so you can get like a series of questions officially from them and um, there are actually terms and conditions if you read this page you probably see it. so if you go to gov.uk um, slash license use of the theory test materials then you can actually get more information so I sent them an email and then I got um, access to be able to um, access to the questions to be able to publish an app with the official licensed material so what they sent me was a series of pdf files right this is one um actually let me just open that so here it's a it's a pdf file with um all the questions right so they have about 14 sections right if you can see here and then it's a series of um, questions with answers and then explanations and at the back of the pdf you get the the correct answers so the first step was to take this PDF and then convert that to a JSON format, which my app can actually read. Um, so the JSON format is here. So if you notice here, we have a, um, a similar, I don't know, it's not really similar, but then if you actually see what he, um, we have, it's very, it's very simple. We have a question ID, the explanations, the answers, and the text of the question itself. So this is the format that we use in the quiz maker template but then if you don't know how to work with json if you don't feel like working with json we also have like a quiz file creator app which is this one it's a mac app which you can actually create your questions you can add questions here add answers say which answers are correct and then you can save a new json file so you can actually create your own question data bank using this app which um, you also get as part of the quiz maker template but then um, now I have the JSON file. Let me show you all the folders in that. So I have um, the content. So that is the 14 sections, right? All each each has its its own topic, right? And then I have images which I can also display in the app, right? These are the images for the driving theory test. Okay, so what's next, right? So we need to convert this into an app. Now we need to actually show. Um, this information in my app, right? So now, if I open the QuizMaker template, this is um, what uh, the QuizMaker customers get. So I'm going to add that folder into my into into my project, right? So I go to Add Files to Quiz App. And I go to it's in Dropbox. DSC Material App Info. All right, so it's in there now. So I ha I now have a configuration file. This is actually where everything is set up i have done this previously before but then of course i mean um, you will learn how to um, implement the, the configurations if you have the quiz maker template um so we have a couple of um, settings here the avenue um the, the background the font and then some information okay so here i am in the quiz maker template so now i can actually um, quickly change um the file that this app pulls this configuration from right so if i remove that and I um, change and I change this file to configuration DSA. This is what I'm doing, right? But then you don't have to do this for your own because I wanted to pull from this configuration file because this configuration file knows where all my questions 
reside. All right, and now if I run this, so you can see here I have a starting page, and then I have the first page for the app, and I can actually choose my topics. So you can see these are all the 14 topics which I was talking, talk, um, speaking about earlier. So we've got attitude, we've got safety on your vehicle, and we've got safety margins. So right now I can actually say, okay, you know what, I want to um, just test myself on these topics, and then I start the test, and then the app starts, right? And then I can select an, um, an item, go next. And then, I don't know if you heard that, there was a, a click. So that, that, told, that, that actually tells you when you answer the question correctly. If you answer the question wrongly, um, you will get like a, a vibration if you were on the device and the wrong answers get dimmed out and then the application shows you the correct answer and then you also have a timed interface you can have a timed um, quiz or or not timed so it depends on um, the configuration that you set up right and then we can go up until the end in this case I have 10 questions to answer let me see if I can get to the end quickly Actually, doing not too badly, no. All right, so that's it. I'm done with the application. I say I'm done with the test, and now it tells me I did. I actually answered fifty percent correctly. Wow, five out of ten answers. That was actually a good one for a random test. All right, and then you can actually review your test in here. You can see which ones were correct and then which ones were wrong. So I can select each of them and then actually see the correct question, and that's a. Uh, one for the wrong one so that means this one is correct but I selected that one so as you can see right so all I had to do in this case was to get my JSON files up and running my configuration my configuration um, plist up and running as well and I was good to go to actually um, set up the app in well, what would I say about what three four minutes but then it takes a while to get your questions I mean the, the most time it, you're gonna actually spend on this is getting your questions um, set up in JSON. All right, so I hope you have had a chance to actually take a look at the, on how we set up the app. Um, if you wanna check out the app, it's on the iTunes, where, um, iTunes App Store, you can search for Driver Vine. It's not free, I mean, it's not, well, I mean, just it's just 99 cents just to play around and then see how that works if you're thinking of getting a Quizmaker template. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be there to answer them. Thank you.